Gay Kevin Sarkaria is a high achievement business coach and abundance manifestation expert. She is internationally renowned and regarded for her expertise in leveraging Chinese astrology and metaphysical modalities to help you achieve remarkable success. She is the founder and owner of Abundance Manifestation Academy and Chinese Metaphysics Academy. In 2023, armed with knowledge of Chinese metaphysics, she entered the world of investing and became a member of an elite global venture capital crowdfunding community. This community funds projects that are unique and disruptive in nature, bringing massive success and wealth creation opportunities to its members, where every participant wins. Today, our second guest is Coach Ryan Tan from Singapore. Ryan has over a decade of experience in the medical device industry. As a seasoned sales professional, he has driven sales performance for individuals and teams across Singapore and Southeast Asia. Ryan's expertise in strategic planning and execution has led to significant growth and market penetration in the region. Gaikan Sarkaria and Ryan Tan are certified Chinese metaphysics practitioners who use various metaphysical modalities daily. Welcome to the show, Gaikan. Welcome, Ryan. I am glad to have you both on the call and excited about today's topic, how to leverage your astrology chart for wealth creation through Chinese metaphysics in period nine. Hi, everyone. My name is Gagan Sarkaria, and I'm a high achievement business coach and Chinese metaphysics practitioner. My first question to you guys is, what specific factors or indicators do you look for in Bazi and Chimen that signal a promising investment opportunity? Uh, it's a great conversation today that we are having, which has to do with how do you spot opportunities in period nine using Chinese Metaphysics Academy that can create wealth or have a long-term investment return on investment attached to them. So um, I'm a certified Bazi practitioner, certified Ziwe Dao Shu practitioner, practitioner. I use Chimen, I use date selection, the whole nine yards. And uh, Ryan, uh, I'm so glad to do this session with you because we both have similar background. Uh, we mm -hmm. are colleagues, we are peers, we are yep. friends. So <laughs> when we look at Bazi for our annual assessment, we personally use different modalities. Like, you know, I yep. use it in my business, in my relationships, in my life. Uh, to see like how can I plan my business on a quarterly basis. So based upon the fact that we are in period nine and the energies mm -hmm. have shifted, uh, looking at my own Bodza chart, I'm looking at my annual auxiliary stars. And mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a star that I'm very fond of, and it's really powerful to look at the Jade Hall star mm. on your chart. So on my right. personal chart, uh, mm -hmm. in the year pillar, I've got Jade Hall this year, mm -hmm. 2024 yep. Dragon year. And then I also have Golden Lock star in my month pillar. So for those mm. of us who practice Chinese metaphysics, and you know, Ryan, you do the yep. same process. You know, you, you look at your own <laughs> personal parts of chart, you look yep. at like the external energies, then you are looking at like, how is that? the dragon year is going to mm -hmm. impact you on your year pillar, month pillar, day pillar, and your hour pillar. And if you yep. look at our pillar is all about investments, your employees, your assets increasing. And then that mm -hmm. energy with dragon, is it a combine or a clash or, you know, harmony of all these combinations that you can look at. Um, Jade mm -hmm. Hall there's another feature, you know, from a from an annual star perspective, but then you can also figure out Jade Hall star, which is an investor star. And mm -hmm. it's fascinating that on my natal chart, Bodza chart, uh, I've got Jade Hall in my natal Bodza as well, based upon my day master pillar. Yep. So this is not something that I've known for seven years or 10 years. This is new knowledge that I have acquired in the last two years. And mm -hmm. in my in my pursuit to get ready for full blown onset of period nine, which is the twenty year cycle from twenty twenty four to twenty forty four, um, yep. I've been preparing myself to ride the wave because mm. how we made money in period seven and period mm -hmm. eight 
is not going to work in pure nine. So, yep. you know, when, when there's an opportunity uh, ahead of you and in front of you, um, if you don't take action and it then becomes like six months down the road or a year down the road, it becomes common knowledge. It's too late. Yep. And mm -hmm. you are not an investor. You're not an equity owner. You're not uh, a partner or you don't have the investment aspect. Then you are the user. That's fantastic. Let's move on to the next question. What advice would you give to individuals interested in using Chinese metaphysics for investment decisions? So right. I'm very glad that we were able to, you know, identify based upon our own personal Bazza chart that there is an investor star on our chart. Mm -hmm. You have that yep. too. And yep. golden lock that it's like, you know, double the power. <laughs> and you look at these based upon your day master or based upon your annual charge. So that's what I looked at when mm -hmm. I started to shift and dabble into uh, looking at savings mm -hmm. from the investment standpoint. Because, uh, you know, our master teacher, Dr. Joy Yap, for the last yep. two years has been asking me, Gagan, you need to start investing. Gagan, you need to start investing. Mm -hmm. So I took his advice to heart and started learning and started dabbling into that. It, I think it's a shift in the mindset. You know, it we is, all it is. Money. We all have to make money to pay our bills. We all have to have a source of income, whether you are in career aspect, mm -hmm. like you have a job, or you have a side gig, or you have both, or you're a full-blown business owner like I am. I've been in the business industry for the last uh, 12 years. I have mm -hmm. three businesses, Ryan, and Chinese metaphysics is the core of every business that I have. And to shift that mindset of from cash flow to revenue producing activities to have a profit and loss statement to to find a source to then start investing whether that investment drive for me was i need to have something for my retirement mm. that that was because you know as a business owner uh, you rarely can find extra 10 or 20 or 30 grand every year to mm -hmm. in to, uh, to save for your retirement like a like a retirement fund but mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. employee you can just you know uh, keep that as a 401k plan for you and it's easy because that's what i did for 12 years you know it was easy mm -hmm. to do back then you know oh you can just put it in there it's out of sight out of mind but yep. as a owner it's not easy you have to be in a very different mindset and a very different strategic execution a state of being to be able to do mm -hmm. that. So I'm very grateful to the knowledge and the learning and the experiences I've had from Chinese metaphysics perspective to be able to see and shift my perspective to be an investor now. And I'm very proud to be an equity owner of multiple companies and uh, being an investor and being a part of a community that brings these amazing projects that are cutting edge, top of the line, and are disrupting markets and industries that have never been done before. And it's totally in alignment with Pure 9. So mm -hmm. that's me. So <laughs> I would love for you to share your Jade Hall and Golden Lock story and tell me what made you shift to be an investor. Well, thanks for the um, thanks for that. So um, definitely, hi everybody. My name is Ryan, uh, Coach Ryan Tan. So I've only just started um, doing this business of coaching. I believe was a year, almost coming a year and a half ago. And yes. actually, Gargan was the one that actually helped me uh, to move forward, going forward with my um, social media designs because I manifested for somebody who has social media experience and has channel metaphysics uh, knowledge. And I manifested, I remember at 1 a.m. In, 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 uh, in, the, in the rain, okay? And she gave me a phone, she gave, contacted me through Telegram at 7 a.m. the same day, okay? It's like six hours delivery, okay? I don't even know whether I can go uh, fly to America that fast. <laughs> so, as, um, so long story short, okay? 
Yes, um, every year, I think it's very traditional that all of us uh, who has learned Bazi will actually um, attend um, those of um, Chinese um, New Year celebrations at the start of the year to find out how the New Year's um, energy come to us. And we, I've been to Dr. Joey Yap's um, such seminars for a few years already, and he's been always pre preaching to us what are the new industries that's coming up what new activities that's coming up that will be best for period nine. And although my, my technology doesn't really matches with what they're doing, because, but one aspect is, which is in alignment, which is Chinese metaphysics. So I'm very, very happy to be in, in this industry in period nine. The second industry he's talking about is always also about the, um, this software, cryptocurrency, okay, all the new technologies that's, that's being digitized, that's being replaced. So I'm always on the lookout, okay? Even in, before I know about parts and all this information, I've already been a crypto miner, okay? I bought a little crypto machine um, that, that, that turns out, I use uh, electricity and turns out uh, crypto coins in a very slow rate. But I started out, uh, actually started um, with crypto mining rather than investing because in my opinion, I want to accumulate wealth. That's my idea. Okay, wow. so for wow. this year, for this year, I noticed that my year pillar, uh, my year pillar is a year of the horse, is actually not in a very um, favorable position. It has a lot of um, inauspicious stars. Okay, as um, but luckily, I have a, uh, in my um, uh, in my month pillar, I have the ox. Okay, which naturally in twenty twenty four. With the with the uh, wood dragon, it has the jade hall or three star. So I know from the start of the year that any opportunity that comes in through my contacts from my business partners, I have mm -hmm. to pay attention to it. And I just recently just found out through um studying through a different masters about the auxiliary stars that jade hall is not only just good for investment purpose. It's not just investment star. It has the investment star usually comes from somebody from the open, uh, opposite sex. Okay. Wow. Yep. And so happened that in the, in the month of the rabbit, in, uh, I believe in March, correct? Month yes. of the rabbit. Yes. My year pillar, the horse plus month of the rabbit when combined together is a jade horse or so they start again. So <laughs> on that month, I was introduced to this wonderful opportunity of this company where they're talking about the various um, possibility of us investing. And it's not just investment and waiting and get a return on investment three years, five years down the road. No, it's actually that we are the owners of things they call computer nodes. Okay. And these are actually mining machines, which got my interest high up because I like to mine. Because when I mine, the coins are mine. I they know. Are not like yeah, I'm. I'm not trading. I'm not. I'm not hoping the Bitcoin goes up, goes down. I don't care about Bitcoin. Bitcoin pricing. Okay, <laughs> I just want to mine it and 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 hold on to it. And in five years time, ten years time, it's all profit in my opinion. So yeah. that to, uh, I do not have a golden lock story at the moment, but I'm sure I'll have one uh, next year. But in terms of um, in terms of the forecasting as well, yes, we look at parts to see whether are we do we have the energy affinity towards uh, investment. And if we do, through which channels do we get to, should we pay, pay more attention to? That to me is how I use parts. And more importantly, I do remember uh, when Gargan was uh, talking to me about this company, I plotted a Timon chart, correct? I plotted a chart into Timon and asked Timon, okay, I want to know whether is this company trustworthy? Can I trust this company to deliver what it says? And I do remember that the, the, the forecast was, it's very favorable. However, it may take a little bit of time. Okay. Of course. And when I saw it, it took, correct. I'm, I'm not, a, if it's get rich quick scheme, that's, I'm more, I'm more afraid of it. Correct. Yeah. If it's get yeah. rich, I'm more afraid of such situation. So I do remember that there's a number three in that thing, in, uh, in that information. So it could be that I will turn profit, the profit gets in three years times. Okay, who knows? Or three, <laughs> or three months. Three months. Who knows? Three you know. months. I'll, 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 be, I'll be very honest. I'm based on my background in uh, genetics and what this company promised to do in terms of genetics healthcare. 
three months is very possible. Three months Absolutely. very possible. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, uh, I'm glad you brought in Chiman uh, forecasting and mm -hmm. Chiman Dunja modality in assessing an opportunity, mm -hmm. uh, you know, from different angles. When mm -hmm. I was exposed to and invited, and let me tell you, to be a part of the crowd, uh, you know, crowdfunding community that I'm a member of, that mm -hmm. you are now a member of, Yes, it's not that out in the open and you you ask your best friend Google to search for it and you can just get it. No, it's an invite only opportunity and you have and it's not easy to get in. There are little hoops to get in. Yep. Uh, because if it was that easy, then uh, everybody could get in. Then it's not an exclusive uh, crowdfunding opportunity where you can be an owner and a partner or your ROI is 800% or higher. That's mm -hmm. why it's not easy. And I like it that way. It's like, you know, uh, I'm a business owner mm -hmm. and uh, I have a franchise. Then when yep. I'm hiring uh, on, on different platforms, I don't make it easy for any Tom, Dick and Harry to apply for employment in my company. I make it mm -hmm. a little bit of a hardship or a hurdles that people who are really serious who see the vision and want to be a part of the mission that I have, then they mm -hmm. are invited and then I can spend time in building them up. This crowdfunding community is the same. Uh, the founders have made it not easy for the time mm -hmm. being. And the success that we had in our first project, was, which was supporting a fintech company totally in alignment with period nine, and mm -hmm. creating massive results for every member that participated in that crowdfund. We raised over $600 million for that company. Yes, and I saw. We are, and we are a very strong community of 270,000 members worldwide. So mm -hmm. everybody can participate, but you have to be invited. So yes. when yeah. I looked at this, when I was invited, I did do my Chiman forecasting as well. And mm. I remember specifically I had the very high returns. I had a uh, chief in there and I also had nine heavens, you know, asker and yes. uh, in the outcome boxes. Outcome. Yep. And, and I was specifically looking at, I was not saying that, okay, is it good for me or not? I was like trying to assess, trying to tap into universal knowledge and wisdom about the company, if this company has the right intentions, is this company going to deliver what it's saying? Um, mm -hmm. is, is this the right thing for me at this point in time? And the answer was yes. You know, I've learned mm -hmm. to understand the difference between gut and intuition. Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and, and we had this conversation earlier, Ryan, that, you know, most people use the word gut and intuition as a synonym but they're not yes they could be they're not. They could be two different sides of the same mm -hmm. coin but they're not the same side of the same coin no i totally agree i 100 percent agree with you because i think what a lot of people it, it, a lot of them assume that both gut feeling and intuition are the same sixth sense okay no they're not. I, I think both of us agree that they are, in a sense, they are the same coin. Yes. They may feel the same. They are the same coin, but they are vastly different. Correct. Okay. Correct. Correct. And I, I agree uh, there are two sides of the same coin, not the same yes. side. Because yeah, nope. if you really look at harnessing or tapping into your intuition or making it stronger, that intuition is a direct connection with the divine intelligence yes. or the universal intelligence if you want a higher power if you want to call it yep. whereas gut is is basically based upon your personal life experiences All right. and most of us have had bad life experiences that actually tarnishes or uh has a clouded judgment around the gut feeling you know it's like oh my mm -hmm. gut says this well gut says All this right. because of the experience the past right all right. Gut or, cannot turn into the future, you right. know. Or it's limited gut. by your environment. If, if exactly. I'm, 
my gut feeling is very accurate in Singapore. But if I come over to America in Las Vegas, I'll be totally lost. Exactly. My gut wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The GPS needs to be realigned, right? The, the compass, yep. the gut yep. needs to be, in, to be realigned uh, to the right energies. And I think that's where Chiman comes in, uh, Badza mm. comes in, Ziva Daoshu comes in, Feng Shui comes yes. in, because we are now tapping into unseen energies based upon a system, a modality, no matter which modality you want to pick, right? Mm. We are picking Badza and we are, we are tapping into the divine wisdom and guidance through Chiman, right? Yes. But we are also aware of period nine, the energy shift that has happened mm -hmm. and the wealth potential out there is massive that the world has never seen before. You know, mm -hmm. on Yahoo Finance, uh, this month, there was an article and a statement that the world will see most millionaires being produced mm -hmm. in the next two years. By 2026, the world will see more millionaires and young millionaires that the world has never experienced. That's the power of period nine. Yes. That now, really the, is the power of period nine. And then, then the question is, are you and I ready for it? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I think we are. <laughs> and I think we are because, we are, you know. We are. We, are, when, we are in a good shape. I would say we are in a good shape. <laughs> we are in a very, very good shape. And, and here's why. I mean, you became a part of the community, the crowdfunding community mm -hmm. recently. Right. This is our second crowdfunding investment. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. I got lucky, and I think mm -hmm. uh, I got invited to the first project also. So I have participated in two projects now, and I've had mm -hmm. good success in the first yes. project that built my confidence. You know, and the mm -hmm. reason I say that because I was a hundred percent passive investor in the mm -hmm. first project. Okay. Yes. As there is a referral component to it that if you invite some, if you choose to invite someone to be a part mm -hmm. of the crowdfunding community, you get a little like a referral commission, you know. Uh, yeah. Thank you, you know. Open there is appreciation. No, yes, yeah. like of appreciation, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know, Ryan, if you were going to share my courses with your community, mm -hmm. I'll say thank you, Ryan. Here's a little yeah. referral commission, right? Yeah. It's the same thing. Same but thing. Yeah. To be an investor and to make money or to have passive income or the ROI attached to your investment package mm -hmm. has nothing to do with the referral. No, no. Nothing. Nothing. And the the referral fee is just a, a small token of appreciation. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing because being a 100% passive investor in the first project where we raised 600 million was mm -hmm. an equity share fund. So I got equity in a company that is ranked as number one in uh, trading using AI models. And mm -hmm. the ROI is over 800% annual ROI. So literally, I'm doubling my money on my anniversary time, you know. And if I look at five years growth or 10 years growth, hey, I can retire in five years. Don't mm -hmm. even have to think about it. That's yep. what my, that was my why. I needed to look at my own situation. And mm -hmm. I have three kids. I have an elderly parent. I have not participated in my retirement fund in the last couple of years because life has been a little roller coaster on my personal things. Yep. But if it was down in one aspect, it allowed me to build three distinct businesses in the last seven years. So, yes. you know, it's never, you know, all your five spokes on your Badza chart, when you're looking yes. at whether it is your family, whether it's your contribution, whether it's your life mm -hmm. purpose, wellness, or relationships, fine, you know, those, those spokes that you look at, the six spokes that we all know based upon our Bazi chart, they will never be mm -hmm. stagnant, you know? They go no. up and down every year. The yes. energy changes. Yeah. The energy changes, all right. 
secret is how do you ride the wave based upon the your chart? Correct. The secret is how do you read carefully so you know which when are the waves coming, exactly. what you need to ride the wave. Because yeah. if you, if you, even if for example, even if you know that you're gonna get into a clash, okay, because we know mm -hmm. all I think for a lot of um big people who are beginners in Bazi, they are very afraid of clashes. Correct? No. I, I was I love this. I was when yeah. I didn't know. I was like, oh my gosh, how many clashes? I can handle clashes, you know. Correct, correct. So I love clashes because these are sudden and impactful events. Okay. Now, what makes a good clash different from a bad clash? Simple. Are you ready for it? Exactly. If you're ready for it, if you put a seatbelt on, if you've got in, in, enough things, a good clash can change your life and and jumpstart you into the next phase so quick, faster than the rest of people. Your bad clash means that you are not ready for it, and you're caught blindsided, and you maybe even get injury, and you you don't know what's going on. Correct. Correct. Yes. Yes. And I and thank you for sharing that because you know clashes, destructions, harms, which are the yeah. negative combinations on your sounds on your negative, not the black yeah. color words. <laughs> exactly, because they are. You know, that's how we we learned it, right? As a beginner. But when yes. you really understand the power of Bazi chart reading or Chimen or Ziwe Daoshu, any of these destiny science modalities attached to your birth chart reading, mm -hmm. you get to understand that it is all about empowering you for yes. a transformation that can actually give you the breakthroughs that you've been looking into. It's like right. go from point A to point Z, but you can have shortcuts, but those shortcuts are so uh, high level that you can create 10x the results that you have not been able to achieve in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. So I'm very grateful. Like, for example, we all mm -hmm. know that on our, our pillar, the, the fourth yes. pillar, right? Our yes. pillar, we look at mm -hmm. investments. You know, that's yes. that's our product or that's where mm -hmm. get uh if we have asset investment capacity what kind of opportunities can we look at right yes but i've got a clash in there mm. because this year 2024 is the wood dragon year right so dragon yes. dog i have a dog in my hour pillar so ah, okay so dragon and a dog mm -hmm. is a clash right yes and it's a sudden, impactful event from external sources, right? That's exactly. the exactly. That's the so definition of clash. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. you know, a clash, or in a in a layman term, I sometimes teach that a clash is like a, a slap on your face. You know, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because, uh, like, literally, think about it. You know, as a mother. I can mm -hmm. go back to my children and say, wake up. You know, it's like basically to gain their attention, right? When, yes. when you have little kids, you want them to stop doing something and they're not listening because they have their headphones on or they're on their on their phones or, yep. or any technology, iPads and stuff. As a mother, the instinct is like you go whack on their head and like pay attention, right? Yeah. Or you would just back and say, okay, what are you doing, right? That's yep. that's what a clash literally is. It is, and, yeah. And I'm glad you bring in the the point of perspective and readiness. So yes. I have been getting ready for the last two years, two and a half mm -hmm. years, okay, to to prepare myself for this readiness. That okay, when I'm ready, it'll appear, right? And that's mm. exactly what happened. Um, All right. Uh, this year is when I participated in the second project with my crowdfunding community, Limitless Crowdfunding Community. Um, mm -hmm. And the project is unbelievable. It's taking yes. real life sports and is disrupting a 3,000 year industry of sports, which right mm -hmm. now is a $500 billion industry. So yes. with a dog and a dragon clash, a project like this coming to me where I have 
the opportunity to participate and be a founding member of blockchain sports, that was a no brainer. Mm -hmm. yep. Because here's the other aspect. Uh, when you're looking at period nine and you're looking at the energy flow from a branding or a digital marketing or an exposure mm -hmm. perspective, mm -hmm. a dragon and a dog can actually be uh, a smaller product cost, mm -hmm. but the impact, the ROI is huge because it's going to yes. touch this. It's going to touch millions and millions of people, you know, uh, as blockchain sports is launching on September 1st mm -hmm. in less than three months, Ryan. Yes. We have three months left. Mm -hmm. Just less than three months to participate as an owner and a founder of blockchain sports crowdfunding community. You know, mm -hmm. uh, when it goes to millions of people, that little chunk of reward on a daily payout can accumulate and can create generational wealth for people who participate. Definitely, definitely. And do you know what is my interest in blockchain sports? To be honest with you, it's not the sports part I was interested in. It was the genetic healthcare that I was very yeah. interested in behind it. Because yeah. if you're just talking about sports, yes, it is very lucrative. It's one of the Mass, one, of the, one of the biggest market out there that's controlled by a small group of people and we are mm -hmm. fortunate enough to be part of that group that can go into and join in the part where we have rewards and loyalties whenever the, the, they have membership they have, uh, the, uh, the loyalties when they're in the contracts when they're moving from between clubs that is amazing but what really enticed me to join this project is actually both the digital experience that they have beyond it, okay? And it's not just watching the, the, the soccer match from your home. It's not just streaming. It's, and there's so much more, which I don't think we have enough time in this in, in today's um, chat to go through it. But to I actually, know. on top of it, is the genetic testing. And I was lucky enough to actually got a video from you guys to have an interview with the person in charge of the genetic testing and we actually asked, and I managed to get a question asked, and how can we ensure, because I came from a background about genetic testing, and yes. where everybody was keeping their information in silos, in their hard drives, in their computers, because nobody wanted to share. It's precious information. Yeah. And, this, and the scientists, the doctors who are on this, on blockchain sports, they said, no, we're going to put it on blockchain. Okay. We're going to put it on open source information, and anybody can access it, provided, they join in after September 1st, pay the tokens to see the information. Exactly. And guess what? As a founder, we are the ones, as I said earlier, we are the ones minting the coins, the tokens yeah. for them to use. Correct. So that um, to me is the one I'm most interested in. I know, mm -hmm. Ryan, I was, uh, I think my jaw dropped when I, shared this project with you and said, Ryan, please do me a favor, take a look at this. Because this yep. year, so my, uh, I'll tell you on, on my Bodza chart, um, my highest top 10 profile is indirect resource. Mm, correct. The top 10 is, so my, it, my indirect resource is very, very high, but this mm -hmm. year in 2024, Ryan, it has dropped drastically a little bit. Mm. You know, when I say drastically, it's more than 20% drop. So for yes. me, a more than 20% drop means or more than 20% increase means I need to pay attention, right? All right. So a big knowing, yeah. knowing your strengths, I reached out to you to say, hey, please wear your uh, due diligence hat mm -hmm. and uh, be a detective, read through the fine print, tell me, because I knew your background is genetics and sales. I knew yes. that, right? And mm -hmm. I knew that you will you will always advise me and give me the right advice. You know, Gagan, do this, mm -hmm. don't do this, so take a look at this. So we are sounding boards, colleagues to each other. And I know yes. you trust me with my uh, my assessment and I trust you with yours. <laughs> so yes. that, was, that was a good uh, conversation. But my jaw dropped when you said, Gagan, did you know that I have been in, involved in crypto and I do mining and I'm like... <laughs> I never knew that. <laughs> I never knew that. 
So you you were the qualified person for me to say, okay, please take a look at this and tell me. Mm -hmm. And it's not that I got in and I invested in blockchain sports first. And then I said, no, I reached out to the right people like you yep. and said, okay, what All do right. you think of this? Give yeah. me advice. What is your perspective? And you were like, oh my gosh, I have this questions. Let's answer those questions and roll with it. And that's exactly what we did. We both did at the same yep. time. We did at the same it, time. All right. It, it's beautiful that we both are attracted to this project for different reasons, but the end yes. result is huge ROI for both of us. Yes, it is. It is. And Dr. Eric Napute, mm -hmm. who is the person in charge of a, a portion, like a product on blockchain sports called Inner Athlete a yes. Program. Dr. Eric Napute is an American doctor right here in St. Louis, Missouri. He has multiple, uh, you know, programs and uh, over 90 patents to his AI technology and mm -hmm. his uh, genetic testing and all this where he can help improve and has been helping improve celebrity uh, athletes in mm -hmm. United States and across the world, improve their performance and their life cycle of their career, which is yes. unbelievable. I mean, it is amazing technology and this doctor is a genius. Uh, what attracted me to this was also the involvement of AI. Okay, my next question is, you know everyone is talking about period nine. Can you please explain how you interpret period nine trends and patterns to identify potential growth opportunities? Period nine, uh, mm -hmm. AI is one of the top, the top. industries. Yes. Crypto, it blockchain, and AI are one of the top industries for period nine to be a part of. And if Correct. you are not ready for it and you have not started dabbling into it and then you want to hear it when it is like, like right now, uh, mm -hmm. common knowledge now. And yeah. for some people to get involved is just too late. And if yes. you're not going to pick up as a business owner, as a Chinese metaphysics practitioner, as a digital marketing agency owner like I am, mm -hmm. you're going to be left. Find. And then it's going to yes. be too hard to make money in period nine. Uh, so if you struggle and you continue to struggle, you need to go do a Badza reading or a Zibet yes. Aushan reading or a Chiman reading with, mm -hmm. with us or with mm -hmm. anybody, doesn't matter, and get to read your chart and the potentiality that you have because the, the opportunities are on your chart. Okay, my last question. What industries or opportunities do you see that we can capitalize on? So we've got 10 um, profiles, right? And I yes. can say that there are 20 industries that people, based upon their 10 profiles, there are 20 industries that we have identified are really powerful industries mm -hmm. that yes. are definitely going to go to the highest peak and have been going on for the last I would say last four or five years, but mm -hmm, COVID, mm -hmm. with the pandemic yep. that we went through actually elevated the awareness of those industries to the masses. So people yes. who didn't know about robotics or cybersecurity found out mm -hmm. about cybersecurity after COVID, All right? right? Yep. People who didn't know about cryptocurrencies and artificial intelligence taking the peak found out about all of this during COVID, the long yes. Right. Yes. So that was an eye opener and a really hardcore shift of the energy for Peter Nine. Okay. It is. Right now, being a part of a company and as a founder of blockchain sports, where you and I are dabbling into at a very high level with artificial intelligence, uh, virtual reality, digital marketing, cryptocurrency. Uh, that's a dream come true. To be able to create generational wealth, that's a dream yes. come true. You know, right, when, you, right. when people like me who have not invested in their own retirement fund for the last decade, that's like, you know, the universe is just rewarding me of my hard work. <laughs> but because I'm ready for it. Yes. 
because you're absolutely ready for it, you know a clash is coming and you know how to perceive it as something positive. Correct. Correct. So I yes. think that is really a, a really good example of how, number one, not everything in the world is black or evil kind of situation, especially with clashes or destructions. Okay. So I totally agree with you. And to me, this opportunity to work with blockchain sports is also a dream come true because I know that I have still have to build my business here in Singapore. Okay. I still have to go out and, and do the, all the things, uh, everything in Singapore. And that's where I want to be my home ground to be. And the opportunity to partner with blockchain sports. I've, and they give me very clear, clear information that number one, I can be a founding member and be a passive founding member, join in, okay, put in my investment, watch my investment grow, okay. They give me some estimations of by when the estimation will grow up to. We did a small calculation on only one aspect because that's the only one that I've really drilled down to ask the details, okay. And guess what? We estimated over 800% ROI. In three uh -huh. in thirty months, I believe that's I believe that's my calculation. Thirty thirty two months, thirty two months, eight hundred percent ROI. Okay, that to me is absolutely mind boggling on only just one aspects of it. As I mentioned earlier, we're also talking about having the the notes, having the the the, the um these the the coins made available for other purposes beyond sports. I will Correct. foresee the the vol the pricing jump up tremendously after September first. So if if to be honest, we are both ready and we're both prepared for all this when it comes to us. Yeah. All right. I know. I know. Uh, our focus today is how do we use Chinese metaphysics to make decisions <laughs> to create yes. wealth in Peter Nine, or uh, how do you spot opportunities based upon your chart, right? Uh, and yes. we both have done that. But there's another mm -hmm. feature I want to share that you are layering the energy of the environment with your internal energy. And that's where yes. uh, the magic happens. That's where you are really tapping into the three-dimensional or the five-dimensional aspect of mm -hmm. time, energy, heaven, earth, man, and the environment, right? So mm -hmm, the cosmic mm -hmm. energy and all of these energies, the five, you're tapping into the five modalities, uh, mm -hmm. levels, or uh, how would I say, the the realms, you know, the five the realms, realms. I'm mean, mm -hmm. tapping into. Um, I am a big proponent of Chinese metaphysics. Um, yes. It has been my lifesaver, uh, has helped me, turn things around like literally 180 degrees from being broke mm -hmm. to having three businesses in a very short period of time. Um, and it's all because of not only my, my belief system, but it's also my ability to see things as patterns because I'm an indirect resource, very mm -hmm. high resource and indirect wealth person. So I was able to shift my job my career to a businesswoman based upon my readings of the astrology sessions that I have been a part of the schools that I have attended in the last 10 years mm -hmm. so not overnight success you don't get to this place overnight or with one no. project well you can mm -hmm. you know if you have the right coach <laughs> with you you can uh, if you have a very right coach and the willingness to see the opportunity when it arrives. Okay. Yes. Right. So it's it's tapping into the time and the energy mm -hmm. component of it, right? Yes. So I have layered the the industries that are the top industries based upon the top ten gods, the ten gods that you have. If you're looking at the mm -hmm. top three on your, your Badza chart or your top yep. four, you know, some people do three, some people do four, depending, right? If yeah, I look at my chart and I look at what are the period nine industries that have the highest potential of creating wealth in mm -hmm. period nine, then I have 
I've really tapped into the power of Chinese metaphysics because yes. based upon my indirect resource, highest is uh, Chinese metaphysics and doing mm -hmm. spiritual work and mm -hmm. doing mind, body and soul work. And I have a brand and a business around that. And then indirect wealth is artificial intelligence and cryptocurrency. And now I'm an owner and mm -hmm. a founder of Atleta blockchain on which blockchain sports is built. And I'm a node owner so yes. that every transaction that happens on this blockchain for sports industry, which is a $500 billion industry, mm -hmm. I get a piece of it. So yeah. for those who don't understand blockchain, that's okay because it's new knowledge, new information, new terminology. Think yeah. of it as, you know, we all use credit cards to buy courses and products yeah. and services. Yes. So if you have a Visa or a MasterCard or Discover or American Express, when you swipe it or you mm -hmm. pay uh, to buy a product or a service, then Visa or MasterCard or somebody is taking a little portion of it, a little percentage of it, right? Correct. Uh, a service you, charge. A service a charge, toll. right? It's, yeah. it's a toll, right? It's a transaction like, you know, when money is being cleared in the clearing house backwards you don't have to understand the technology but you pay no. you pay a exactly. fee right to use that plastic think of blockchain sports and being a node owner that you get a percentage for every transaction that happens now exactly when there are millions and millions of transactions going to happen whether they happen in three months or three years you get a little percentage mm -hmm. of it it's going to add up Yes, it and will add up. That's what is exciting because I was able to tap into that level of, you know, my top four profiles and I've got friend star in there. I have mm -hmm. I have God in there, which has to mm -hmm. do with virtual reality and digital marketing. And I have both of those components in my businesses. <laughs> and self help is well being. I have a wellness company as well. So uh, it's it kind of is very fascinating to me that when you open your mind and your soul and you are um, you know harnessing and tapping into the cosmos for the divine uh, experience and knowledge using chi mm -hmm. then you you get to a place where you're ready you get to a place where you have options and having options at this time in your life is very important. So yes. I encourage everybody who gets to watch this video to have an open mind and start mm -hmm. embracing these industries that either you become a part of it or you're going to left behind. That's the only yes. two options. There's no middle ground anymore with these. So uh, as mentioned, um, we are going to provide you, um, for those who are still watching on at this point in time, we actually provide some YouTube videos that you can watch and find out more information about what we talk about, be it blockchain sports, be it the genetic testing, or even being the uh, academies, the, the football academies that we have in Brazil, as well as the numerous legends, soccer legends who are together with us, joining us in our quest to bring this worldwide after September 1st, okay? Yeah. So definitely, please take a look. And on top of it, if you'd like to share some feedbacks, have a chat with two of us, we have a Telegram group as well. Yes, I have uh, the Telegram group also. We both are a part of that group. Yes. Uh, the mm -hmm. channel, you can subscribe to our Telegram channel. The QR code is here. So you can just scan the QR code and, and subscribe to the channel, but you can also chat with us and ask mm -hmm. your questions uh, and get to know about us more or also about the crowdfunding project that is going on for blockchain mm -hmm. sports. And we yeah. have a website as well for the crowdfund. It's called limitlesscrowd.io. So you, mm -hmm. here is the QR code that you can scan or you could go directly and say limitlesscrowd.io and that will give you more information on the website and we have a YouTube channel called mm -hmm. limitless-crowd 
that you can mm -hmm. also subscribe and watch our videos. We have videos there in English, in Spanish, and in mm -hmm. Chinese. And mm -hmm. we are trying to uh, just do our due diligence and create more videos for you guys from an educational and informational perspective. So mm -hmm. got good traffic on both website and the YouTube channel. So come join us, you know, subscribe, yeah. get to know about the project. Uh, the rewards and the royalties are phenomenal, but you get to be an owner and a founder of something that is going to really blow the lid out of this wealth creation aspect for you and your families. So yep. if you are uh, somebody who believes in Chinese metaphysics or, or trusts us to be your guide, please come join us and we will be more than happy to share more information with you. Definitely, definitely. So if you're in, in, into Chinese metaphysics or you want to find a bit more about how to invest, okay, using China music, uh, using how to invest using Chinese metaphysics as a guide, okay. As you were mentioning earlier, I think this is something that um we both share very deeply. What's the difference between in um, gut feeling and intuition? For myself, I've been living my life through my knowledge and through my gut feelings, okay, through my limited exposure, and unfortunately, as mentioned, it has not brought me very far beyond uh, our Singapore, okay? However, after learning about Chinese metaphysics, I learned that, okay, I can check my gut feeling by using Chinese metaphysics to make sure it's a good intuition. Is it connected, correct? As I mentioned earlier, we use our parts to determine which opportunities are available. And when it arrives, we can use team and forecasting as a different modality to double check. Again, correct. And that to me is the absolute game changer um, mentality because a lot of people has this close mindset of how parts should be used, how teamers should be used. They are used in so many different ways. And we have, I think both of us have been using it very successfully because yeah. it's brought us to this opportunity that we are sharing with everybody here on uh, a, that has access to this video. And we are very open to share with you so do come to our channel, take a look at our, the videos that we have curated for you. And if you need to chat with us specific, specifically regarding investing, please come to Telegram group. We are there. We're happy to chat with you in more details. Yeah. Yep. You know, I'm, I'm glad you, uh, in your closing remarks, Ryan, you're bringing mm -hmm. in the, the perspective of mindset because mm -hmm. everything is a perception and a mindset situation. You know, yes. uh, I know based upon my own experience and knowledge that if money is a problem, it's not a real problem. Thank God money is the problem, mm -hmm. not anything else. Yes. You know, yeah. <laughs> uh, if, if somebody is struggling with poor health, that's a real problem. Mm -hmm. if, mm -hmm. if money is an issue, that is a perspective and a mindset issue or it's a funding issue. So yes. you, can, you can create money, you can manifest abundance, you can mm -hmm. create portals of possibilities using Chiman and Bads and Ziwei and Feng Shui uh, because it's all energy work. It's money yes. is energy. So mm -hmm. if money is a problem, it's not a real problem and thank your stars, no. it's not a real problem, right? It's mm -hmm. a perspective. Correct. Or it's how do you realign your budget or how do you get mm -hmm. your priorities straight? So right. that's what I think is an awareness that you can get from your bots chart. Where should you realign your budget or how do you create extra funds? How do you start investing? How do you wear an investor hat? And also, uh, you know, there's a difference between a poor mindset versus a broken person broke you know are you broke yeah. or you are poor you know that's yes. a mindset shift because somebody who has an abundant mindset will never stay broke no they wouldn't they won't stay at that level forever you know yeah because agreed, the mindset agreed. is what is creating their power and energy and if you are aligned with the divine and the cosmos energy through chimen 
and you know how to manifest, you know how to create opportunities and you're ready, then you can't stay broke forever. Mm -hmm. You know, I so totally it's agree with you. same thing, you know, uh, what are the energies you're going to tap into for period nine? So with that said, thank you, Ryan, for being my, my partner today on this <laughs> uh, video and sharing your knowledge of Chinese metaphysics and I'm so glad we are partners in blockchain sports. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I think part... we are, definitely we are business partners in a lot of businesses, okay, okay. In both investing as well as China metaphysics, okay. okay. I de definitely agree okay. with you 110% that definitely, and thank you for your trust in me and being so that I can look through things without any pressure and advise you uh, based on my knowledge. And from that, I also benefited from it as well. Because yeah. without uh, without knowing you, without going um, knowing this opportunity, I wouldn't be of uh, access to this information at all. Being in Singapore, correct? Yeah, exactly. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much, and I wish everybody a great success. And yep. we, will, we will talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Yep. Talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.